Hey, what's going on? Good morning. Good morning. It's your boy Derek Casey coming to you live from Dallas, Texas. And I hope that you guys are having a great start to your Sunday. Um, just uh, got done feeding the kids some breakfast and wanted to come in here and shoot this video for you guys and just talk about some things um, that could truly help you out along your journey. So what we're going to do, we're going to uh, take some time here. We'll let Facebook do its thing. And then I'm going to, y'all see the title. I'm about to talk real to y'all. You know what I'm saying? We're going to sit the you know professional i'm gonna talk to y'all like i'm your homeboy right now because like sometimes you got to kind of take the gloves off and you got to talk to people so that they can realize the true opportunity that's out here with all without all the smoke and mirrors and all the fluff and hype that's in front of it we gonna talk to you guys about something real because right now with this pandemic going on you know what i'm saying with these jobs closing down all of these different things man you got to start thinking of other ways to be able to generate an additional income to help your family out like that. Like, that's just real talk. That's just real talk. All right. Hey, good morning, Alethea. Good morning. Hold up real quick. Oh, my bad, y'all. Got the got my kids and my niece over here. And you know, when kids get up in the morning, they find every way to like get on each other's nerves, but it is what it is. So, anyways, I really wanted to come on here and talk with you guys real this morning because a lot of people struggling financially. And the question that you have to ask yourself, there's a lot of people that's working jobs right now. Um, some people have unfortunately lost their jobs and they this the wheels are spinning, trying to figure out what to do next. The question is, is that, you know, what what will put you more at risk, right? Looking for another job, for another pandemic to come, for you to lose your job, to be on the brink of losing everything, or really start looking into other opportunities. But the thing is, is that a lot of people are afraid of other opportunities because of what they see, the things that they hear, you know what I'm saying? So now it builds up this fear, and now people are afraid to jump and make a decision to come in and see you know, what's really out there that can truly help them out. You know what I'm saying? I've seen some of my leaders, uh, like Miss Alethea, she shared a video um, about why she became a network marketer. You know what I'm saying? Why she got into the business basis being at a job, you know what I'm saying? Because now she has more time with her children and different things like that. So that's, you know, that's really the overall picture is to be able to give you your time back, to be able to have the money that you want to have and be able to live life on your own terms, okay? And you can do that in network marketing, but here's a couple of things, okay? And I'm going to break it down to you real, okay? One of the biggest mistakes that I see people make, okay? One of the biggest mistakes is that when people invest into opportunities, guys, they invest in the opportunities based on somebody else's success. Here's an example. You'll be scrolling down Facebook and somebody will share results with you. And a person would say, oh, snap, I made $5,000 this week just simply posting ads online. That's a typical post that you'll see. And in your mind, because you 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 kind of stuck in a situation where you need some more money in your life, that looks really good. And that sounds very easy, right? So what do you do? You reach out to that person. That person comes to you and tells you, oh, snap. Yeah, this thing is super easy. All you got to do is get on board. And then we get your ads and you just post them. And boom, you're going to see you. You're going to just be making this money, right? So people will invest their money based on that information. Not understanding all, you know, what really happened behind the scenes for that person to earn that $5,000 that week. Like y'all don't do the research. Y'all don't do the research. Y'all literally invest in the companies based on upon somebody else's success, I am here to tell you guys that somebody else's success and their journey to success will not be yours. It will not be yours. You are going to find thing, other things that may work for you. Your experience in any company in the network marketing industry is going to be different from other people. I see people get discouraged when they see people get into business and they build real fast, but you stuck right here. And then they want to quit because they, their business is not moving fast enough. Well, you're not doing the same things as those people. You have to find your groove in this industry. You got to find your groove in what works for you. I, I'm going to give you a case, in, uh, case in point. I do a lot of Facebook lives and YouTube videos bringing value. You may not be that type of person. 
You may not be that type of person. So if I come to you and say, oh, you should shoot Facebook lives when you ain't never done a Facebook live, you don't know what to say. Do you think that that's going to be something that's going to be successful for you? It's not. It's not because you're not you you're not like courageous enough to jump in front of the camera. You're feeling like nervous all in your system when I say anything about getting on the camera and talking to the people, right? So we got to find other avenues that's going to help you be able to get your business out in front of other people. That's what I'm telling you. Everybody has a different learning curve when they come into this industry. Some people learn faster. Some people learn slower. Some people need their hands held. Some people are go-getters. They just going to come in here and they just going to rock it out. That's just, this is kind of how it is. That's even at, that's even at jobs. When you go get trained for jobs and I train people at my job, the one thing I learned, there are some people that want to have their hand held through everything, right? And there's some people like the last guy I trained at my job, he was a go getter within like two days. He was like, I'm ready to just get on the phones and let's, you know, let's check some stuff out. I spent two days showing him the system. He got that down pack. He was ready to get on the phones. I was sitting there with him. So he wanted to kind of get through it. So that's how he learned. But a lot of you guys come into this industry based on somebody else's success because they come to you and they paint this picture that all you're going to do is post these ads. You're going to be good. You know what I'm saying? All of these different things. But they don't tell you like the, the 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 peaks and the valleys that they had to get themselves to that point. They don't tell you how many companies that they failed along the way before they found a company that made sense to them and they got on board. So I'm going to give you guys some tips, man. I'm going to give you all some tips today. OK, when you're looking into any opportunities, stop investing your money based on something on somebody else's results. OK, it's cool when you see somebody else's results. It shows that it works. OK, it shows that it works. But what you need to do is if you're interested in that company, you need to do research on the company. OK, how long they've been around? What's the product or what's the service? What's the commission structure look like when I get out here and I start sharing it with people? You got to set goals for yourself. OK, because I'm telling you, you're not coming right out the gates making two thousand five thousand dollars. You got to work yourself up to that. OK, so what are you trying to achieve? What's the first goal that you're trying to achieve? OK, I need an, an extra five hundred dollars a month coming in residually. So you look at you look at your company. So now that you didn't you didn't research your company. Right. You're excited about what they stand for. You didn't seen the product, the service. Right. So now you know that like you you talk to people and they tell you that it works. So you know that this is something that you can truly stand behind. And there's a lot of people out there, right, that need your product or service. So you determine that. So you're excited about that. And now you look at your commission structure and you say, OK, how many people do I need to help to get to my first goal? I want to make five hundred dollars a month. OK, so you look at your commission structure. If your commission structure says and you need to go and get, you need to help 12 people to get into your business, right? So my business, 12 people to earn $600 a month residually, okay? So in my business, right? In my business, I'm in the financial services industry. So we got a membership that has a team of licensed experts to help people to reduce their taxes, help them build their credit up, right? Eliminate debt, reduce their bills, shift more of their money back in their household out of the hands of the government, the banks, and big business, so that way they now have money to start investing in so they could retire, right? That's what I do. So I know there's a lot of people out there that's tired of overpaying the taxes. I can speak to a lot of people, so I can help a lot of people in that area. I know there's a lot of people that's battling with bad credit. I can help them with that, with that area, right? I know there's a lot of people buried under debt and would love to reduce some of the bills that they're paying every month, especially with this pandemic going on. So already in my mind, I'm already looking at people that I can help with my services. So when I look at my commission structure and I say, okay, how many people do I need to help reach their goals for me to be able to earn my first level, which is $500 a month. I look at my commission structure. It says, if you help 12 people, right, and get them on board and get them started, you can make $20 a day guaranteed. 30 days a month, that's $600 extra a month coming in. Guess what? I have now put down my goal, and now I'm going to work toward hitting that first goal. That's the only thing I'm worried about. I'm not worried about $10,000 a month yet. I'm not worried about all of that extra stuff. I'm worried about hitting my first goal. 
So I'm going to work and I'm going to find the people that need help with reducing taxes, increasing their credit scores, eliminating debt, and really starting to invest for retirement. That these are the, these are my people that I'm looking for. And that's what I'm working toward. See, a lot of you guys right now, you don't set goals for yourself. You see somebody make a thousand dollars, you want that thousand dollars, but you, you want the thousand dollars, but you don't want to put in the work that it takes to get you to that thousand dollars that you see somebody posting about. You see somebody making ten thousand dollars a month, but you're not willing to put in the time that it takes to get you to that ten thousand dollars a month. I'm telling you guys, you got it. You can't just invest in a company based on somebody else's success. You got to come in and you got to invest in the companies that you could be excited about. How long has that company been around? What is their culture like? What is their leadership like? Right. That's what you want to be able to stand behind. Then you want to look at the product or the service. Is the product or service something that I would actually use for myself on a daily basis and, and, and be excited to go and share this with other people? OK, so you got to look at the company, everything with the company, what they stand for, how long they've been around, the type of leadership that's there, the type of culture they built in the company. Then you want to look at the product or service because you want to know if you can use it. Because if you use your own product or service, how exciting is it to go and share your results with other people? See, people don't tell you that you got to use your own product or service. We are in the people business. When was the last time somebody came to you and said that they was at Walmart and seen a product sitting on the shelf and told you to go buy it, even though they didn't buy it? They didn't use it. They didn't get no results from it but because it looked cool. It had a cool wrapper on there and it looked like something that could help somebody else out. You was like, yo, go, go get it. And how fast would those people go and buy it because you ain't used it? So how can you tell somebody about a product that you ain't never used? OK, so when you get into a business, you got to use your product or service. You got to see it, how it works, because when you see results for yourself, building a business and network marketing isn't hard at all because it's a conversation because you the, the, the problem is, is the thing that we got here, guys, is that there are problems in our economy right now. And then the question is, do you have a solution to the problems that you see? Let me say that one more time. There are problems happening in our economy. And whatever company that you choose, is that going to be a solution to the problems that you see? Are you going to be able to get your your product or service and have massive exposure that's going to open up people's eyes and say, I've been looking for this. I need this. This is the reason why so many people fail in this industry. I don't care what nobody says. You can hear all the horror stories, people talking about network marketing up and down. Oh, it's the worst. You can't really make no money in this industry. That's a damn lie because the people that come into this industry don't really look at network marketing as a business. They treat it like a hobby. They come in here and they want to make money. They got the mindset that I want to make money in this industry. They just don't want to put in the work. They just don't want to put in the work. When I talk to people, when I talk to people on a daily basis, I'm asking them what they're looking to achieve. People will come out with numbers. Oh, I want to make $5,000 a month. Okay, well, how much time are you willing to put into your business? Because it is going to take time for you to come into your business. It's not just about coming on here and posting some stuff and then magically your bank account is going to blow up. Okay, we are in a people industry. Okay, that means we connect, build and build relationships with the people that we talk to. Which means you got to build trust with them people. How do you build trust just through a post? I, I mean, somebody somebody answer that for me. How do you build trust simply through a post? You can't do it. When you got thousands of other people posting about different opportunities, how do you build trust? How do you look different from the thousands of other entrepreneurs and business owners online that's sharing opportunities with people? It doesn't happen. You get lost in the sauce. So you got to be different. You got to be willing to step outside your comfort zone and go for it. But a lot of you guys don't want to do that. 
You want to make the money that you see in network marketing, but you don't want to put in the work. Guys, I work a full-time job, four beautiful babies. Mary, I am on the go all the time, but I see the potential of what I can make in this industry. I see the potential. You know what I'm saying? My job, I've been at my job for two years. Love my job. Love the people I connect with. I've been at my job for two years. Haven't seen a raise yet in two years. I came into network marketing and I've been in the industry for about six years. So I jumped from company to company looking for the right vehicle for myself. I got in my company and within a year, I'm making more money in my business on a part-time basis, right? I did this on a part-time basis. I'm making more of my business than the salary I get from my job because I work in sales. So my salary is pretty, pretty little, right? But then everything else comes from commission. I'm making more money in my business now than I'm making my salary. That like that to me is powerful. And I did that on a part-time basis. And I did that within a year of being in my business. I've been in my in my job two years and I ain't still got no raise. I'm making the same money I was making two years ago when I first started. Mind you, I'm doing more in my company. I'm a trainer. I, I, I'm... Every new project that comes on, they call me to get on them, to do more work in them, checking things out. Still ain't got no raise. Why am I telling you guys that? Hold up. Hold up real quick. Hold up. Are we being serious? Are we being serious? So once again, I'm over here. Now bumping into the wall. I'm, I'm so fucking sick. We're staying home today. All right, my bad, y'all. My kids up in there running around. Sound like a pack of damn elephants running around in there. So, anyways, so like the the thing is, guys, you gotta you gotta be serious if you want to make money in this industry, guys. Don't be like me. Don't be like so many other people. I like I literally did this. For six years, man, I would hop into business because it seemed easy. I, I invested in the companies because I seen people making a lot of money. So I was like, oh, I could do that. Not realizing the work that I was going to have to put in. And then when I didn't see those results as fast as I wanted to see them, I was hopping from company to company. But what I realized, guys, during this time is that the whole time I wasn't plugged into my Excuse me. I wasn't plugged into my business. I was not putting in the work. My mind, I convinced myself that I was doing everything possible, that I was doing everything they were telling me. So when I quit, it justified me quitting to go to another company. And, and, and it was just funny because I look at it. Every single company that I got into, every single one, I was like, this the one. This is this the one right here. I'm planting my flag. This is it. I ain't looking nowhere else. And then I worked the business and I get a little bit of success in the beginning. And then when I got that little bit of success and then my business became stagnant for months, people were falling out my business, all these different things. Guess what? That feeling of excitement went away. And then now I'm back at the same point where I'm deciding on if I'm staying or if I'm going. And then guess what? I will go to the next company and I will say the same thing over and over again. Oh, this is it. This is the one. This is the company. I love it. Oh my God. It's it's everything. I'm gonna be able to man, I'm gonna be able to retire. I'm gonna be able to hit the same walls. So when I started analyzing that and I started looking at it, I was like, man, why am I failing? Every business I go into, why am I hitting the same wall every single time? Why am I hitting the same wall? And then it literally it came down to the point that I was not holding myself accountable. I was looking to do bare minimums, expecting maximum results in every company that I went to. I wasn't willing to invest any more money into my company. I solely focused on Facebook, just trying to do videos in hopes that that was going to do it. Bought me some success, but just not the level that I wanted to. You know what I'm saying? So I literally had to say, okay, what do I need to do next? And that's when I really started to look for a mentor. 
somebody that has been through the ringer in this industry and now they're top leaders. I was willing to pay money to get with them to learn the knowledge so that way I could be better for myself but to become a better leader so that way I could lead other people so they didn't run into the same obstacles that I ran into, okay? But I tell you this much, I tell you this, I would rather spend five, six, seven to 10 years, whatever, figuring out network marketing than to work five years at my job to make pennies more each year. More responsibility Still around the same pay because a company going to pay you what they think you work. A company, uh, your job, they going to pay you what they think your, your, your salary, your hourly wage. They just going to base it on whatever. They're going to pay you just enough to keep you around. But see, in network marketing, you get a chance to get paid what you're really worth if you put in the work. If you put in the work. I'm happy that I went through those times. I almost gave up on network marketing. I ain't going to lie to you. I was ready to throw in the towel. I was like, I'm just done. I was burned out. I got tired of hopping from company to company, feeling like it was the one, and it didn't work out the way I wanted it to. You know what I'm saying? It was just my mindset. It was just the mindset that I had when I came into this industry. I was just like, just trying to get to the money, not realizing that like it's a business. It's a business at the end of the day. And I was going through the motions. I wasn't putting in the work. And there's a lot of people out there right now that's really not putting in the work into their business. And then when they when they quit a business, they say they did everything possible. You will never, you will never hear a person that quit any business in this in this industry. I don't care whether at health and wellness, forex, uh, financial, any. You will never hear a person that quit a business that tell you the real reason why they quit. Every person that quit a business is going to find something as a crutch on why they quit to justify why they quit. They'll never tell you that they wasn't plugged into the calls. They'll never tell you that they never used their services. They will never tell you that, you know what I'm saying, they didn't, they, they wasn't out there doing the things like posting when they were supposed to. They wasn't following up with their prospects. They ain't going to tell you none of those things. And those are the people that you listen to. Those are the people that y'all listen to. Oh, they didn't they didn't make no money, so that's it. Oh, that, that company don't work. But meanwhile, if the blueprint didn't work in any of these companies, if people weren't making money in any of these companies or whatever the case, that means that everybody, everybody wouldn't see success, not just you. How you the only one out of, you know what I'm saying? Like so many that didn't see success guys. Like it's just, and like I said, there are cases, there are cases of some bad companies out there. I get it. There are some companies with some horrible leaders. I get it. Okay. I've been in them companies, but you don't put your business in the hand of leaders because the leaders aren't there to build your business. Yes. They want to help. They want to help you get there because they get benefit from helping. But it's not their job to build your business. A lot of you guys will sit. The, man, come on now. I'm like, listen, I just want to be real with y'all because this is the one thing that people don't want to talk about and bring down to the people. But I'm keeping it real with y'all today because I would rather you not invest your money and waste your money if you're not willing to put in the work. You're going to have to put in work. Hands down. You're just going to have to put in the work. Ain't no way around it. I ain't sugarcoating it. I'm not telling you that you're going to just post some things and you're just going to get... That's not happening. It's time to shut all that down. Okay? Time to shut all that down. Because here's the thing, guys. I've seen people come into this industry, man. They get in these companies and they don't take initiative to build their own business. What do I mean by that? I'm going to give you for an example. I'm in the financial industry. I'm, 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 like I said, I'm going to keep it all the way real. I got people in our industry. I'm in the financial industry. Once again, I deal, we have a team of experts that help people lower their taxes, build up their credit so they can stop overpaying the interest and the insurance rates, right? Helping them get out of debt. Like we got a team of experts that do that work. All you have to do is upload the information. You want to lower your taxes? If you work a job, 
upload your last two pay stubs and your most recent tax return. And the experts actually fill out the W-4 for you correctly based on the tax laws. Legally, ethically, and morally, they do it for you. Okay? Credit. All you got to do is pull your credit reports. We show you how to do that. Upload your credit report for you and your spouse with a picture of your license, right? With a picture of your license, you put that in your back office and guess what? Your experts go to work for you on your behalf to get your credit scores up. You don't have to do the work. Your debt, all you got to do is enter in your debt, your mortgage, your rent, your car payment, your college debt, all of these, you enter that information in and the experts will put a game plan together so you could pay off your debt in record time, saving you thousands on interest. Now, once again, you don't have to do the work. All you have to do is upload the information and enter the information that the experts need. Okay. People sign up in our company and that's all they have to do. They will sit around for two months. Ain't never went in their back office, never used the services for themselves and then turn around and get upset because they're not building a business. Come on, man. Come on. You over here, you got something that can truly help you and your family out. And all you got to do is upload it. You got a team of experts that do all the work. And you don't use your services. You don't use your own services. So now you don't have no results. But meanwhile, you out here trying to tell other people why they need your services so you can get paid. And when people don't sign up with you, because when they ask you, well, how did it work for you? And you, you him and haw because you haven't even looked into using the services for yourself and they don't sign up with you. Now it's the company fault. It's the leader's fault. All of these different things. Stop sitting around waiting for your leader to come in and tell you every little thing to do. Half of y'all don't even go into the back offices of the companies that you with. And this happens everywhere. Happens everywhere. Everybody jumping on the Forex wave, right? All because they see people making money. But guess what? Guess how many of them people going to actually utilize the tools and the resources for Forex? A very small percentage. Because all they focused on is trying to sign people up so they can get paid. They're not looking at the overall picture of what Forex can do for you once you go in. Learning a skill. They don't learn that. And then when they come in and they don't make no money in the business, now it's the business fault. It's the leader's fault. They ain't make no money. They've been in for six months. All of these different things. But how many times have you took initiative in your own business to go in there and start doing it? Guys, I'm going to tell you right now, I've been in business where I ain't have, like, leaders signed me up and was non-existent. Did I sit around and wait? Nope. Whenever in doubt, YouTube it out. I started going to YouTube. I was in my back office. I say, I'm not, I'd be damned if I let a leader hold me back because they're not answering me or coming back and helping me out. I'm going to go do it for myself. Y'all don't even, half of y'all don't do that. Half of y'all won't even do it and wonder why you're not successful. Why would you ever put your the faith of your financial situation in the hands of a leader? If they ain't helping you, help your damn self. Go out there and look for the answers. Find other people that you can connect to in your business so that way you can get the right answers so you can move forward in your business. Stop sitting back twiddling your thumbs and complaining because your leader's not helping and not getting no answers and all this stuff. I'm telling you guys this because I've I've been in this industry. I'm, I'm one of the leaders in here. I'm very hands-on with my people. I work a full-time job and I tell people, if you need a three-way call, all you got to do is go out here and share the information with people. There's so many people out right now that are struggling financially. I say, bring them to me. Crickets. Crickets. Like, that's what I get. Crickets. I do Zoom calls for my team every single Tuesday and Thursday. Chances for them just to invite people so they can see the information. They ain't got to do the explain. They just got to go get the people and bring them in. Most of them, crickets. And then they wonder why they're not building a business. 
You can't build a business if you're not sharing, if you're not utilizing your own product or service so you can get out here and start building that trust with people. Right now, my man Harold on here right now. If I went to Harold and I told Harold, we live in the same, let's say we live in the same area, right? And I went to Harold and say, oh, snap, man, that, that's a nice restaurant they building on that new restaurant. And he say he heard about it. And I say, yeah, you should go check it out. And if Harold asked me that I go there and I tell him, nah, but I, I heard good things, you should go check it out. You think Harold going to jump up to go and look at, you know what I'm saying? You think Harold going to go jump to go eat at that restaurant at all? No, because I didn't eat at it. But if I ate at that restaurant, the customer service was great, the price was right, the food was amazing, and I go to Harold and I say, Harold, man, that new restaurant off the chain, bro. I got one of these meals over there, man. It was so good. The people were cool. Everything, man, that's a great place to take your family. Guess what? By that weekend, Harold probably going to get his family and go to that restaurant. Why? Because I ate the food. I was in the environment. I seen how the people reacted. I gave him results. Of me going and taking my family to that restaurant. So now Harold trusts me enough to take his family and go eat at that place. Same thing in your business. When I use my services and I got and I got locked in with the experts and I saw that they helped me reduce my taxes and put $450 extra in my check. When I see my credit score within six days of me uploading my credit reports jump 80 points and they removed the repo. Guys, I didn't hesitate to go out here and tell people. Why? Because I can show them results. Look at what the experts did for me. Let me show y'all this. Because I know right now you're struggling financially. Man, we can help you reduce them taxes. I know you're tired of getting denied. Man, they helped me with my credit. Let me show you what they did. And guess what? They're going to trust me more because I actually use my services. Because we in the people industry. Building relationships and building trust. And the only way to do that is being real, utilizing your product or service, getting out here and sharing it with people and showing them the value. Because when you show people the value, when you show people your results, you ain't going to have to beg and plead nobody. They're going to be ready to get on board because they're tired of getting the same thing they always been getting. So I'm telling y'all, man. Like I said, this may be a harsh video for some. Some people may get their feelings hurt. You know, grown people don't like to listen to real information, especially in this industry. Being real is frowned upon. I don't know why. I don't know why, but that's okay. You can frown down on me because I'd be damned if I continue to, to, to bring information that's just going to, you know what I'm saying, just push you guys into something that you're not ready for. I would rather you guys come across this information and be like, okay, this either makes sense and then you take the time to get into a business that's right for you or don't invest your money at all. If you're not willing to put in the work, if you don't have the time to put into your business, guys, posting things just online ain't going to get you there, okay? If people don't trust you, if people don't like and trust you and can relate to you, they're not going to sign up with you. They're going to bypass you and look for the next person. You got to be different. You got to be different in this industry. Not Stop coming in here basing, you know, investing your money based on everyone else's success and their results. Find what works for you. Once again, do your own research on the company. Okay? Reach out to other people that may be in the company so you can get some feedback on what they feel. Right? Make sure that the product or service that you get it into is something that you're going to actually be able to use for yourself. But it's always going, but it's also going to appeal to the masses. Okay. Appeal to the masses. Why did I get in a financial situation? Because there's no shortage of people out here that's overpaying in taxes. There's not a shortage of people that's out here with bad credit. There's not a shortage of people that's out here with dealing with bear, being buried under debt. There's not a shortage of people who haven't even started to invest for retirement. So I would never run out of business. I would never run out of people to talk to and share this with at all, at all. So you, that's the kind of business you want to be a part of. You want to make sure that what you bring in out and you share with people appeals to the masses. Appeals to the masses, not something that just sounds cool, or, you know, whatever the case. You feel what I'm saying? That's it. Do your due diligence. Do your research. Talk to the right people. 
check out the product or service. Will you use the product or service? If the answer is yes, use it. Then go out here, share with people, bring value. And then when you bring value to that, guys, then you can share the opportunity with people because if they see value in your product or service, then the opportunity side is going to make sense. But a lot of y'all got it backwards. Y'all trying to get people in to see the opportunity first and ignore the product or service. Let's just try to sign people up to make money. You ain't going to make money that way. I'm telling you that right now. So that being said, that's enough. Y'all done got enough, man. I got it off my chest. It's all good, baby. We just I just want to come here and just share some real information with y'all, man. Just do what you do, man. Stop investing your money based on everybody else's success. Find what works for you. Find something you can be excited about. Do your research. Get with people. And I'm telling you, it's going to make a world of difference. All right? So that being said, y'all enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going to holler at y'all soon.